investigation stage at this point, uh, but I just want to reiterate, uh, we will find out who did this and we will hold them accountable. Thank you very much. President Obama in the White House briefing room a short time ago. Now we get another eyewitness account from the president of the Boston City Council. Stephen Murphy was near the finish line this afternoon. He joins us now on the phone. Councilman Murphy, tell me, Councilor Murphy, tell me what you saw. Well, I was about 30 feet from uh, the corner of Boylston and Exeter Streets when a loud explosion went off. It was like almost like a mushroom cloud uh, went up in, into the air and... Uh, uh, people started running and screaming, and it was uh, very quick, quickly uh, that the Boston Police, Boston EMS, and Boston Fire, as well as volunteers from the Boston Athletic Association, the BAA that runs the race, uh, moved right in and uh, cleared the area and uh, began to restore order right away. So it was a, a very good team effort on behalf of those who were uh, representing officialdom of the uh, city, the official uh, uh, police, fire, and ambulance thing, and also the uh, uh, BAA uh, volunteers, the uh, race volunteers. Uh, they worked uh, swiftly to uh, uh, move into the area and to uh, bring Boston EMS, brought their uh, ambulance folks over and uh, to try to take care of injured and sick, and um, they moved very, very quickly. So it's hard as a Bostonian to, uh, to watch our uh, emergency services people work so well. Councillor Murphy, at when that first blast went off, did you immediately think it was a bomb, or did you think perhaps it was a, a pothole cover or, or, or a manhole cover exploding? That's what I thought. It was a manhole cover. We've had a few of those, usually in colder weather than this. And first time I thought it was a manhole cover, but the, uh, the size of the cloud and the fireball uh, gave us pause. And then another one happened maybe 15, 20 seconds later, probably 100 yards further down Boylston. Street, and that's when everybody knew that it was something more than just a random incident. So people were uh, evacuated from the area quickly, and medical uh, people were responding uh, just as quickly to those that were injured and uh, hurt. As president of the Boston City Council, have you been informed of what, about what that something more might be? I have not. I mean, I talked to our police commissioner, and I know that uh, the governor and uh, his folks, everybody is working as a team, the state and local officials, and uh, they've been uh, they've at the Boston Regional Intelligence Center, which is uh, just a few years old, is uh, working uh, right now to try to coordinate efforts among all law enforcement and uh, public safety uh, personnel in the area. Uh, uh, Councillor Murphy, as you well know, Patriots Day is a big holiday in Boston, and the Boston Marathon is a big moment, 27,000 people running down the streets. How uh, off-putting, how upsetting, how much was it uh, a blow to you standing there in the middle of this on this kind of day? Uh, it, was, uh, it, was a, it was an attack on freedom itself, again, uh, if, by whoever, whoever did it. They're trying to, uh, there's that psychological component to it. And uh, I know that everybody has been psychologically scarred by it that was part of it. I was just one of uh, a bunch of people that were within uh, 30, 50 feet of the explosion. And, uh, you know, it's off-putting. It is. But um, there were, there were uh, uh, I'm very happy at the way our response people responded. They did a tremendous job. So there's some solace in that. Did you witness any any actual carnage nearby you? Was it was it was there blood in nearby you, or was this something that seemed to happen at a distance? No, I was a little bit further away than, than it wasn't right at my feet or anything like that. But I did see people running by with clothes torn off and burn mm -hmm. marks on them and and blood. Uh, there was that. I mean, I did see enough of that at the uh, right by the finish line. A lot of media right there. There was a media bridge. Yeah. And built right there, and they were uh, photographing everybody coming across the finish line, and it was right at the corner of Exeter and uh, Boylston Streets, right by that media outpost that it happened. So. Well, our concerns go out to you and the city of people of the city of Boston, City Council President Steve Murphy. Thank you for calling in.